Uh, family, back again. What to do if you got nicked or you got arrested or stopped and searched by the police? Yeah? So what to do? So listen, guys. This is for everyone that need to learn about things. You know, you got to learn from mistakes, yeah? If you haven't gone through this before or you haven't got stopped and searched or you haven't got arrested or you got harassed by the police or anything like that, obviously, I've got to say this, guys. Not all coppers, not all police are corrupt. Not all police are dodgy. Yeah? Not all police are dodgy. Yes, some of them are, are and some, uh, some, 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 some are, are dodgy, some aren't. So the one that were dodgy, yeah, you, you can't know. You can't know who's good, who's bad. You can't know who's dodgy police, who's not. So that's why you're going to have to be careful, man. You're going to have to watch over your shoulder, yeah, because nobody will. Nobody will watch over your shoulder. Just you, your friend, nobody else. It's not even your friend because sometimes some friends are also get scared from that. So now, by, by, me, saying, by me saying that you're getting a, a harassed by the police, so first thing to do, yeah, if the police have stopped you, first thing to do, make sure you pull out your phone and record. Or if anybody, anyone that, you know, any person that passes by or anything like that around you, make sure you tell them to, to get their phone out and record, record it as an evidence. Because obviously you don't know what's going to happen. Because if anything happens to you, then there's many, many lies that are going to be around. So that's the first thing. The second thing you do, guys, do not resist. Do not resist. Politely ask the police, yeah, what section are they nicking you under? What section are they arresting you? Do you know what I'm saying? So whatever section that they are, what you tell them, listen, what section are you detained under? So if, if there are any other section that they explain, because in the eye of the law, yeah, people will know that what section that they are going to detain you under. And then when you go back, you will know and you'll be able to complain after. Yeah. So your mother, your dad, your friends, everybody around you, they need to teach you this kind of kind of method. If they can't teach you this kind of thing, if your father, your mum, your dad don't teach you this kind of stuff, yeah, they are the one also are going, yeah, to put you in these troubles. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to be you don't want to be arrested by the police for you know for something that you have never mm -hmm. done. So the mm -hmm. best thing to do is education. If you if you're not educating brother, yeah, on what to do when it, when you get stopped by the police and obviously, yeah, the police are going to take advantage of you. Obviously again, guys, I'm not gonna say all of you, I'm not gonna say all of the police are corrupt, yeah, but some 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 of them got it in it got got it institutionalized, yeah, and they will try to walk on you, yeah, they try to, to find you like like a, like you know you're you're nothing really because at the moment if you look at it, if if you're a melanated person or non melanated person, this is an advice for everyone. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just giving it to anyone. Everyone's that's willing to know and what's happening. So if you've been arrested by the police or you've got a stop and search. That's number one what I said to you earlier. Make sure first thing you record it as an evidence. The second, yeah, do not resist. Yeah, don't resist. Yeah, make sure just politely tell them what section they are detaining you under. What section. So, so they will understand that. So they know what section it is. Yeah, so make sure also get their badge number. Get the colour number of the police. Yeah. And their name, the color, number, and their name is very important because when you ha when you have that, you would have an information about the police, and what are they? Yeah, are they a sergeant? Are they a detective? Are they a PCSO, or are they uh, uh, something else? So you have to know these kind of things, family. If you don't know these kind of things, family, yeah, that's why you lost. Most of the people, yeah, most of the melanated people are lost. Yeah, around here in England, uh, in England, or around whatever, because they don't know that they don't read things. Because you're an idiot, brother, you're stupid. You don't know what what to read. Yeah, reading, reading. You don't need to go to school to read and write, brother. Yeah, all you have to do is yeah, go on a computer, go on the internet, and learn how to read. And then after you learn how to read, everything is up there. Read and understand about this about the law. Because when you know the law, then no one's going to stop you and search you. Even if they stop you and search you, because you're able, after, you'll be able to go and sue them. 
you will sue the police because you've got an evidence. But if you don't have an evidence, uh, I'm telling you, your evidence is not being recorded. It's, uh, the police is not being busted on all kind of things because some of the dodgy police, they will go back to the police station and make up lies about you. They're going to make up the report. Yeah, they write up a lot of things like that to suit their agenda. You should understand that. I'm not going, listen, obviously, I'm going to repeat again. I'm not going to say again, all the police are corrupt. But some of them inside, yeah, those are, that, that, that they, they're rotten inside and they corrupted the system. That's why they, they make you feel like, you know, less than a human being. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they're going to tread on you like an insect, like an ant. You understand? So... You family, I blame you. I blame you for, for, for the things that because you're not educated well about what is going on. Your family's in educating you. Your friends, your mate, yeah, your brethren, people that call them brethren and all that, they don't even know they, they know they know F all about about the law. Because you need to read. If you don't read, that's why some of the people I know I know many, 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 many of my white friends. Those got arrested by the police, but they, but the police coughed, coughed up the money. They sued the police, and the police paid them up. But and I know many, 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 many of my black friends or melanated friends that the police arrested them, and they haven't coughed, coughed up anything because there's no evidence. They just walk up on them. You, you know what I'm saying? So you guys, I, I, I'm not. This is advice for you guys, and you should learn things. Yeah. Also, if you're stopped and search again, guys, as well, you should know that. You've asked them for the search warrant because if they got that search as well, uh, they're gonna have to give you a paper. You know the search, the search card after. So you have to sign. They have to sign it and what what, what section they stopped you under, and you can go. Uh, you ha ask them for that. But you stop and search. If you haven't, then it's any other things that they, they they suspected as well. You should ask them for the section that they are detaining you under. That's it, really. Yeah. And then also you have to also ask them another thing that. Am I detained or am I free to go? This is, you have to ask them that too. Yeah? If uh, So they will tell you, if you're not free to go, that means you are detained. If you are detained, yeah, they take your freedom away. Even if they took your freedom away for, for five minutes, for one second, yeah? That means, yeah, you need to get your liberty back. They detained you for no reason. And if it is not lawful reason, that has been you've been detained under, yeah. They have they're gonna have to cough up for that. Well, you will sue them. I'm telling you, you will sue them, guys. So make sure you understand these kind of things, yeah. Know the know the law, yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna say big up to the police that who's doing their job properly and are protecting us as as a citizens. Do you know what I'm saying? Because of course I don't wanna I don't I don't want a criminal person, you know what I mean, to come and rub me up because I'm gonna have to call the police. Do you know what I mean? Because we need the police. But, but at the same time, we don't need the dodgy police. That's why I'm, I'm going to have to educate you on these guys. And I hope you understand these points. If you follow these points, guys, I'm sure you will never have any hard time with the police. Whatsoever. You will never have a hard time. Even if you if you got a hard time, that, that police 100% is a dodgy man. And, uh, and the law will protect you on that. Because you've got everything, you've got the evidence, you've got the proof, you've got all of that, and and then and then you're gonna win that case. You understand? So, all right, family, wake up.